Hey everybody, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith and Marisa Inde here for Juggernaut Training Systems and Juggernaut AI. And we want to talk to you about five common mistakes in the bench press and how you can fix them. So the first mistake we see is actually going to be two mistakes for the price of one. So that is lifters failing to control the bar on the unrack. We'll see, especially less experienced lifters, they're almost trying to bring the bar straight from the rack to their chest rather than bringing the bar out, making sure they're putting it in the same spot every time and so they can have a consistent touch point. Also, as a competitive powerlifter, it's gonna be really hard if you're practicing this way to then get a press command during the bench press. So what we don't wanna see is that, bringing the bar straight from the rack down to the chest. The way that you're gonna fix that is simply by doing it right. You know, there's no real trick to it. You're gonna bring the bar out, hold it at arm's length for a one to two count, then begin your descent. This is gonna be good practice for a meet as well. Other common issue that we see kind of goes hand in hand with this is lifters failing to pause their bench press enough in training. And the rule of thumb we use for that is to pause the first rep of every set. So if you do that, you know, regardless of bench variation, pause the first rep of every set. By the time you get to a meet, you get to your test day, you're going to have plenty of pauses in your training to be ready and comfortable with that. So our number two common mistake we see in the bench press is the chest retreating from the bar, you dropping your chest while you're bringing the bar down. This is gonna cause you to lose your position a little bit. It's gonna make a longer path for you to bench press through. So the cue we use to try and fix this is to reach your chest to the bar. So you're actively trying to meet the bar at the highest point uh, possible so you can have the shortest range of motion possible, which is what we're looking for in competition bench pressing. Some exercises that can help with this as well are either a reverse band row or inverted rows. So you're getting that practice of pulling your chest up, meeting the bar, staying high on your scaps as well. So it's not going to be uncommon for you to see some really high level bench pressers who do let their chest collapse with the bar a little bit and they're able to get you know tremendous drive at that initial part of the lift but that's going to be more of the exception than the rule so i wouldn't suggest that you start out doing that uh, this you know meeting the bar at its highest point not letting the chest collapse is probably going to be a better route for most lifters another common issue that we see especially when we're getting to max attempts is the bar coming down too slow so if you're, if you're bringing the bar down really slowly, uh, you know, you're probably wasting energy. We're not gonna be able to quite get the stretch reflex that you would be able to. Even with a pause, there's still some stretch reflex remaining. So really the only way to correct this, uh, because it's as much a psychological issue as anything else, is to just be really mindful that during your warm-up sets, during back down sets, during lighter weights, that you're being really mindful and purposeful about practicing the tempo and rhythm that you want and the better job you do that during your warm-up sets the better job you'll be able to carry it over into your top sets so the next common issue that we're going to have is people usually touching too high so too close to their neck or just having a generally inconsistent touch point so if you're touching too high and too close to your neck you know, it's going to cause a bad bar path it's going to be a lot of extra stress on the shoulders some people you know as they're going through a, a set are going to you know touch high sometimes low sometimes you know, touching too low can cause you to press the bar towards your feet rather than over your face. So you just want to be making sure that you're practicing a consistent tempo. You know, you could chalk the bar and wear a dark colored shirt so that you can see, you know, like one consistent chalk line uh, happening as a simple cue. So you can tell if you're touching the right point if you can't tell from a video. So if you're having problems with touching too high as the weight gets heavier especially, you may feel like you need to overcorrect it a little bit and feel like you're touching extra low but that's probably only gonna feel that way. You'll actually be pretty much in the right spot there. So if you need to use a little bit of that overcorrection uh, to fix that issue, that could be helpful for you as well. So the fifth common mistake we see in the bench press, and this is particularly with recreational lifters, we work with a lot of high school athletes, is uh, what we would call happy feet. So they're starting to press, you know, and they're moving their feet around during the press. You know, even as they're pressing, they might be lifting one foot off the ground as it gets hard. Uh, which I did when I was in high school too, and I don't understand why, because it certainly isn't helpful. So if you're a competitive bench presser, you know this is against the rules, you're going to get red lighted there, but if you're you know, a recreational lifter not looking to compete, this could be something that you're dealing with. So you just want to try and tuck your feet back a little bit, so they're kind of stuck in one place, and then feel like you're putting pressure through your toes, into the ends of your shoes, into the floor, throughout the bench press. This is going to help you get a little bit of leg drive, be more stable and uh, you know avoid this happy feet problem. 
Hopefully these tips are gonna help you. And if you wanna take your training to the next level, check out the Juggernaut AI app for two weeks free at juggernautai.app through the link down in the description, through the link in our profile, all those places. Thanks for watching.